discuss about the gauss seidel method first we'll discuss with the help of the flow chart and later uh, we'll see the algorithm of it now to start with first we are having a start block then we need to read number of buses then line admittances then slag bus voltages and for load buses you need to read the real power and reactive power since in the load bus real power and reactive power are specified and we need to obtain the voltage and angle del and for generator bus read real power and the voltage magnitude since in generator bus real power and voltage magnitude are specified and we need to obtain the reactive power and the voltage angle del okay also in generator bus the limits for the reactive power are specified that we need to read then the next step you need to form the y bus matrix with the help of the line admittances this y j k where j varies from 1 to n and k varies from 1 to 2 to n then we need to set the flat profile voltage vp equal to 1 plus j 0.0 or 1 angle 0 except slack bus since in slack bus the voltage and angle are specified then set the convergence criteria epsilon and set iteration count as k equal to 0 now next step set bus count p equal to 1 first we start with the first bus and check whether this bus is a slack bus or not and if it is a slack bus then we need to go to the last step through this path and we need to advance the bus count to p equal to p plus 1 we have to go for the next bus and the next bus check if p is greater than n number of buses and if it is uh, not if p is not greater than n then it comes back to the top again you need to check for slack bus no it is not a slack bus then we are checking whether it is a generator bus now yes it is a generator bus in such case for generator bus p and v are specified q and the del are to be obtained we need to calculate the qp as well as the del value so del we cannot calculate directly so if you calculate the voltage v then the angle will be your del value so for that temporarily set vpk is equal to vp specified and calculate the reactive power qp now check whether this uh, value of uh, reactive power qp lies within the limit or not check with the minimum limit whether qp calculated is less than qp minimum then you need to set qp is equal to qp minimum and treat this bus as a load bus okay and this is a limit violation and again we are checking whether the qp is greater than qp maximum yes it is greater than qp maximum means then there is a limit violation again so qp is equal to qp maximum and treat this bus as a load bus okay and if the qp is within the limit then we can directly come here and uh, treat the bus as a generator bus then you can calculate vp uh, k plus 1 and uh, set this vp specified and angle del p k plus 1 so from this answer we are going to take this del alone since vp is already available and uh, already it is given in the problem since it is a generator bus magnitude of voltage is specified and uh, real power is specified then you can calculate del vp k plus 1 that is change in voltage profile and also here uh, after considering uh, the bus as a load bus, if it is a load bus, so here we are checking that, checking for a generator bus. If it is not a generator bus, then uh, surely it is a load bus. So it comes directly and we have to calculate uh, voltage. For load bus, P and uh, Q are specified and V and del you need to obtain. Okay, so V del we need to find with the help of the formula Vp power k plus 1. Okay, so there you can find Vp power k plus 1. And also if the acceleration factor is uh, given, then we need to calculate Vp acceleration also then finally you need to equate vp power k plus 1 to vp acceleration then you need to calculate the change in uh, voltage del vp k plus 1 and now set this vp power k is equal to vp power k plus 1 now advance bus count and this process repeats until the last bus n okay now check whether p is greater than n yes it is greater than n then it comes here evaluate del v max the maximum change in voltage can be evaluated and it is checked with the convergence criteria and whether del v max is less than epsilon yes it is less than epsilon means then evaluate line flow and slack bus power and the algorithm ends here and if it if this limit violates then you need to increase the iteration count k equal to k plus 1 and you need to go for the second iteration and the process continues until you will get the proper convergence of this algorithm so this is how you need to proceed with the uh, gauss seidel method flowchart and now uh, we are going to discuss the algorithm part of it with the help of the formulas and all okay now the step one read the following number of buses line admittances and slack bus voltages and if it is a generator bus read a real power voltage magnitude and the reactive power limits if it is a load bus you need to read real power and reactive power step two obtain y bus matrix Step 3, assume flat profile voltage 1.J0 or 1 angle 0 for all the buses 
except slack bus then assume suitable value for convergence criteria epsilon and iteration count k as will be set as 0 now start with bus count 1 check whether it is a slack bus if it is a slack bus then go to step 13 so step 13 you need to go for the next bus set p equal to p plus 1 and go to step 5 until the bus count is n okay now if it is a slack bus then go to step 13 otherwise go to next step so next step is check whether it is a generator bus it is not a slack bus so now we are checking whether it is a generator bus if it is a generator bus go to next step otherwise go to step 10 okay we'll see what is there in step 10 later so we are going for the next step before that you need to set this vp power k is equal to vp specified since in, since in generator the magnitude of voltage value will be specified now calculate reactive power q since for a generator bus q and del has to be obtained p and v are specified so to calculate the reactive power q this is a formula qp equal to minus 1 into imaginary part of vp power k conjugate into summation q equal to 1 to p minus 1 y p q v q power k plus 1 plus summation q equal to p plus p to n y p q v q power k using this formula you can obtain q p and next step you need to check whether this the calculated value of q p lies within the limit or not if q p is less than q p minimum then we need to set q p is equal to q p minimum if q p is greater than q p maximum then we need to set q p is equal to q p maximum then treat this bus as load bus and go to step 10 if q p is within the limit then treat this bus as generator bus and go to next step for generator bus we need to determine the value of del p also so for calculating del p so actually del p is an angle of phase angle of uh, vp so in order to find del p we first we need to find out vp for that we are setting this vp power k plus 1 as a temporary stage value with the help of this formula vp power k plus 1 equal to 1 by ypp pp minus jqp divided by vp minus summation q equal to 1 to p minus 1 yp q vq power k plus 1 minus summation q equal to p plus 1 to n yp q vq power k so using this formula we can uh, determine the value of vp power k plus 1 so under that uh, in the answer we are going to consider only del p power k plus 1 since magnitude of vp will be specified so that we need to consider and hence we, we determined the value of q as well as del for generator bus now in step 10 it is a load bus for load bus you need to calculate voltage and angle del so direct formula you can apply this direct formula and find out voltage magnitude as well as the angle del for load bus now if the acceleration factor is specified in the problem then you need, you need to consider the acceleration factor and calculate vp acceleration power k plus 1 so using this formula vp acceleration power k plus 1 equal to vp power k plus alpha into vp power k plus 1 minus vp power k now set this vp power k plus 1 equal to vp power k plus 1 acceleration so for the further steps and uh, for uh, the next iteration you need to consider this vp power k plus 1 acceleration only you should not take the previous answer vp power k plus 1 now calculate the change in bus voltage del vp power k plus 1 is equal to vp power k plus 1 minus vp power k direct formula and now you can go for advanced bus bus count until the bus count reaches n you need to repeat the process now obtain the large value of change in voltage del v max and now check with the limit with the convergence criteria epsilon if it is greater than convergence criteria epsilon then you need to increase the uh, iteration count and go for the next iteration or else you need to end the algorithm and calculate the line flow and slack bus power and we can stop the execution so this is how you need to obtain the power flow analysis using gauss seidel method